Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Mars 3D terrain and the 3D territories into Unreal Engine 5.1 and set the collisions to make kits available to have the collision interaction with players in your Unreal Engine 5.1 project. And now you can see this is the Google Map, <coughs> the Google Mars and you can see the 3D is available and all of these are 3D meshes. They are really 3D meshes. Right, how are we going to grab and import into Unreal Engine 5 game project? And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Okay, first, what you are going to do is just go to my video descriptions. Go and download the Google Mars 3D Grabber. Once you download it, the name is Google Map 3D Grabber. Actually, it is the same as the previous tutorial, the Google Map 3D. So once you open it, <coughs> you have the render.1.13. This is the installer. You have to install it into your computer. And then you need to make sure you, you already install the Google Chrome browser as well. And then this, uh, this is the Blender 3.0 with the Google Map Importer plugin that already pre-installed inside here. So all of these are just tools. And the first step, what you are going to do is just close every browser, all the Google Chrome related browser. And then the first step, just open the render dock. Right, next click file, inject into process. Here you type Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, Chrome, here. Then, next, start the Google Chrome by using my Google Chrome render doc shortcut. Double click it. If you, you, if you double click and open it, you should be able to see it is totally blank with white color and it is a conversation here, GPU starting with PID. So next step, back to the render doc. Refresh here. You should be able to see the Google Chrome GPU. Click to select it and click inject. Then you have to back to your Google Chrome immediately. The conversations, you have to click OK. Then it automatically will enter the Google Chrome. But you can see here, here are some of the black background with white text. Once you can see this, then it is already success right now. Next step is just go to the Google Map, maps.google.com. The first step what you're going to do is click the layer to make sure you can see the satellite. Move your mouse cursor here and click more as well to activate the globe view. Then you can scroll your mouse, scroll until the end then you should be able to see all the planets are here. The Mars is at here. Click the Mars, it automatically will enter the Mars like this. So now you can see this is a Mars territory. All the terrains, you can capture it. So how are we going to capture the Mars terrain? It is really easy. Here you have the 3D as well, they are really 3D meshes. The first step, you have to back to the Google Map 3D Gravel. Open the Blender 3.0 at there, the Blender. The plugin already pre-installed there. So once you enter it, you have to delete these three items. Press the Delete button. Click File, sorry, click Edit, Preferences. Here you have to search Maps. Then you should be able to see the Import Export Map Models Importer. You have to make sure you Activate it. Once you activate it already, you close it. Then you back to your render dock here. Now we are ready to capture capture this. In your render dock, the capture after delay you put five seconds and click capture after delay. Back to your Google map here. You have to to just click on that and then keep on moving it until you can see one capture safe and back to the render dock. This is the master terrain in 3D format. 
Then, you have to right click and save it as demo. I will save it on my desktop and right click to create a new folder. I will name this new folder as Mars01. The file name, I will name this as Mars01 as well. So now everything already saved at here. This is the RDC file. By using the blender that provided by me, you can click file, import, import the Google map capture, the RDC file, just import it. It is on my desktop under the Mars01 folder, mars01.rdc. <clears throat> I double click to open it. Now you can see it already imported and now you can see all of this territory are, are a few meshes that combine together. Turn on the texture, now you can see it is really a, a Mars territory. The first step, what you are going to do is just select everything and press Ctrl J to make sure it combined to become just one single texture. Alright, once you're done already, then you can export it out. And as demo, I will export it as FBX at here before you import into Unreal Engine 5.1. Click File, Export, FBX. From here, I'm going to export on my desktop, Mars01, the same folder. The FBX name, I will name this as Mars01 as well. The path mode, I will select the copy and, and highlight this. This path mode is to make sure all the 3D texture embedded inside the FBX file. Click export. Now, the Mars01 FBX already exported. If I double click, it will open by using the 3D viewer. So now it's the time to import into your Unreal Engine 5.1. Now I can close the blender, close it and I don't want to save it. Now I will start the Unreal Engine 5.1, the Unreal Editor. And as demo, I will just create a fresh new game project. Everything start from beginning. The Unreal Engine 5.1. Right, so as demo, I will just create a fresh new game project, a third person game project, and I'll create. <clears throat> now, this is a fresh new game project. And by default, you can't see the content browser. If you try to play, now this is the third person game project and I will import the Mars territory at here. The first step, just go to the window content browser to call out the content browser once. Then, under your content folder, right click to create a new folder, name this as Mars. Right now, under the Mars folder, just import the FBX file. The FBX just now, the Mars01.FBX, drag and drop into here. And then, do not take the skeletal mesh, just click import all, and close it. Now just wait for a while, you can see the Mars Static mesh is at here. Now it is preparing the shader. You have to wait for a while until it finishes as well. You can double click to check the Mars 01 terrain. It is really a terrain, a territory. Next step, just scroll down here. Under the collisions, the collision preset is block R. And then the complexity you have to change to use complex collision as simple. Then click save, then close. Now, 
I'm going to drag this into the game project like this. Right. So, and then I will press R to make it bigger like this. Right. And now let us have a test. Test this territory, this terrain. Now I will just try to play test. And now you can see all, all the collision are okay. This is the the Mars terrain 3D models. You can let the player to interact with this terrain. It is really a terrain that you can stand on it. Alright, everything ready success. And that's all for today about my tutorial on how to import the Google Mars 3D into your Unreal Engine 5.1 project to make it available for your player to interact with the Mars terrain, Mars territory from the Mars planets. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing. See you!